What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike, aka Michael Mitchell, back at it again with another video. And in this video, it is a super quick PSA about the Apple Card, so let's just jump right into the video. So yes, this is a super quick video. It probably won't even be three minutes long, who knows? But regardless, starting today, the Apple Card has 0% financing on purchases other than just buying the iPhone. So if you have an Apple Card, if you have an iPhone, you have an Apple Card, and you got and you wanna go and buy something else like a Mac, an iPad, or a couple other Apple products like a HomePod or something like that, you can get 0% financing through the Apple Card and basically you can buy the product now and not have to pay for the full thing now and you have no worries about it because you get 0% financing, AKA you don't pay any extra money for it. All you have to do is pay a monthly fee for it and that monthly fee would obviously just pay off the product. So if you went and you wanted to get a $300 HomePod, which I don't really think is a great investment right now because HomePods, hopefully they come out with a HomePod too because they need to. Regardless, if you want to get a HomePod right now and you didn't want to pay $300 for it, you could finance it through the Apple Card and have 0% financing on it and pay about $48 a month. And then after about six months when your HomePod is paid for, then it'll just be paid for. It'll just, that'll just be it. So you can do the same thing for Macs. So for iMacs or MacBook, MacBook Pros, all that kind of stuff. Strange enough, you can't do it with the Apple Watch, which I personally think is a missed opportunity, especially considering the Apple Watch costs more than the HomePod. So I don't know what's going on there at Apple. Maybe Apple has to just figure something out with that. I don't. I really don't know what's up with that. Regardless, those other things like Macs, iPads, HomePods, anything like that, you can go ahead and use your Apple Card and get that 0% financing if that's what you wanna do. If you still wanna pay for it in full and get that full 3% back, you can do that as well, but you're not losing anything by not getting the 3% back because you'll still get 3% back if you go ahead and do the monthly thing as well. So it really just works out. It's really cool. But yeah, like I said before, the Apple Watch isn't there. The iPod Touch isn't there. I don't know who's still buying an iPod Touch in 2020. But hey, if you are, you can't use the 0% financing on that. So Apple Watch and iPod Touch are just not there for the financing. But basically everything else is. So go and get your 0% APR forever, essentially, and on any Apple product that you really want to buy. You can kind of go and do it. And that's pretty much it. It's not much else to explain. You can either pay for it monthly with the 0% financing up until it's paid off, or you can just pay for it in full like you normally did before. So just options at checkout is simply that. I'll throw some screenshots on screen. And that's about it. So if you enjoyed this quick update video regarding the Apple Card and its 0% financing, make sure you hit this video with a like button. And if you want future Apple Card videos, because I love talking about the Apple Card. I love, I love actually talking about credit cards. Um, we'll have to get back into that because I haven't talked about credit cards on the channel in a while. So... Yeah, we're going to get back into that, but if you enjoyed that aspect of it and you want to see more Apple Card or credit card stuff, then make sure you hit that like button as well. Thank you for watching this video. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.